Alright guys, today what I would like to show you how to do is uh, drill and tap uh, some holes here. And one of the reasons why you'd want to drill and tap a hole is so that you could take these two half inch thick aluminum plates and fasten them together with a uh, one inch long machine screw. Okay, So the first thing that we need to do is in the top part we're going to need to drill a hole, a larger hole, so that the machine screw will pass through. Now the bottom part what we're going to do is we're going to drill a smaller hole to our specs based on the thread sizes that we need to uh, to cut into that bottom part. We're going to drill that smaller hole and then we'll use a, a tap and cut threads down into the uh, bottom part so that the uh, machine screw will uh, screw down through uh, and hold these two parts together. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to lay out, I always use a sharpie uh, on aluminum, you're going to lay out exactly where you want to drill your holes. So before I drill my holes, I'm going to take a center punch and center punch the uh, center point. This will help whenever you uh, your drill bit starts, follows the path of least resistance and it won't wobble around on you. See here you got a nice center punched starting location. Okay. So the top piece, what we're going to do is we're going to drill what's called our clearance hole. And on a quarter 20 fastener, like what we're using right here, this is a quarter 20, the body of the screw, the diameter is a quarter inch. So I'm going to choose a quarter inch drill bit, and uh, that'll drill my clearance hole. I'm going to chuck up the drill bit into the chuck of the drill press. Use a chuck key to tighten the bit down. And put your piece on here, spin it around, make sure it's spinning true. Put your piece on here, you're going to use a, a vice grip of some sort to secure the part to the table. Hold it and secure it in place. Turn it on, and then drill down through it. You want to choose proper feeds and speeds on the drill press. So once you drill through, you can remove your clamp, and then this lower hole here, this is your clearance hole, so you'll notice your quarter 20 machine screws should slide right through, okay? So the bottom, this is the top part, the bottom part, we're going to choose a, uh, for quarter 20 uh, threads, you're going to need to drill a, what's called a number 7 size uh, pole. So if you look, you can refer to a tap drill uh, chart and on quarter 20 threads you're going to find out that the tap drill is number seven. So that size, if you look on the, uh, the shank of this drill bit, this is the size, number seven, that we're going to want to, uh, to drill through. Alright, so I have the number seven uh, drill bit chucked up in the drill press. I have my bottom part secured with my vice grip and I'm going to go ahead and drill that uh, number seven size through. Every once in a while you're going to want to retract the drill the pilot beam so it'll break the chips of the drill press the bit. Turn it off. Remove your clamp you have a uh, size number seven uh, hole for a quarter twenty uh, tap. So we're going to cut taps in in this hole here. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, the bottom part that I'm going to cut the threads in, and I'm going to mount it in the vise so I can really secure it in place and nice and flat. The tap that I'm going to use this is a uh, quarter twenty tap, and notice how the end is tapered. And this type of tap. Is a tapered tap is used for if you're going to go straight through uh, a through hole. So they have other taps like bottom uh, bottom clearing taps where if your hole only goes down so far uh, and you need 
all those threads to be cut as far down you know to the bottom as possible so this is tapered end tap and that's what we're going to use and we're going to you know have two handles here and before i get started we're going to turn clockwise as uh you know the, the corkscrew of the thread will start cutting and it'll be lowered down through the material as we as we cut so i'm going to make sure i'm nice and straight that's that's the key point here is that as you start turning and it starts feeding down through and cutting threads into the material you want to make sure you're nice and straight and perpendicular to your part that you're going into so uh, you have to be very cautious right here because uh, it's not unlikely that you can break this tap taps are very hard and very brittle uh, even though this aluminum is very soft but what will happen is you'll see these chips as I start cutting through here it's going to, uh, the chips are going to want to clog up in those threads. So what you do is you go, you cut so far, maybe a quarter or a half a turn at a time, and you back it off. And you'll see these flutes in this tap. That's meant for extracting the tip, or I'm sorry, the chip up out. So uh, as I feed down through here, notice what I do. I'm going to cut a little bit, back off, and that breaks the chip. So I'm going to cut a little bit and back off. You want to make sure that the chips break. You don't want the tap to break. You want the chips to break. Okay. So as I go through, uh, we're going to go through this thing. And you'll notice that if it's cutting nice and breaking the chips properly, it, it, it goes through here like uh, very well. Because aluminum is not very hard to, uh, to cut threads into. But you just have to make sure that it's, extracting the chips and a lot of times the chips will fall out if there's already a hole straight through you have to be really cautious whenever you use a, uh, a bottom tap bottom end tap and there's no hole down below it to pass the chips through so as you can see it's really uh, pretty much effortlessly going through uh, but I am backing off and making sure that my chips are indeed uh, broke so I'm actually all the way through so I'm going to back my thread out my tap and back it out and we should be good to go here I'm going to try my screw grab your machine screw and you're going to need a tool to uh, to run it down through and, and try it out starts and threads very nice goes right down through okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to try it out we're going to bolt the two parts together that is our drilling and tapping lesson here so I'm going to take my uh, part here put it down on there you'll see my machine screw once again will pass through and we're going to get it to start threading into the bottom part use our tool again Thread it down on. And in aluminum, you're not going to want to torque it down real tight. You'll notice. There we go. We got our two parts snugly fastened together. And that was from drilling and tapping quarter 20 threaded uh, holes. So as you can see, that using a tap to cut threads and drilling and tapping holes is a very easy way to fasten two parts together and very strong and very clean you this eliminates having a uh, a nut where you just have a bolt going down through and you don't see anything coming out the other side so drilling and tapping holes very easy and very effective